What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the RTX 3050 and the available light hash rate unlocking miners and how their performance basically stacks up and which ones are going to be the best. Now, this is spurred on by the release of a specific unlock for the RTX 3050 released by G Miner. If you recall, we also had one for Team Black Miner not too long ago, and we tested that. What it does look like, of course, is that we are going to be having more and more unlocks available for the RTX 3050, which in theory should hopefully bump that hash rate up each time. We'll get into the details right after a word from today's sponsor. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018. Through February 8th, there are no fees for buying crypto with a card. Prime XBT offers a unique trading experience with their co-vesting module that allows you to follow successful traders. Their latest feature is co-vesting yield accounts that offers up to 14% APY using DeFi and CeFi integration. Prime XBT is available on desktop as well as their new iOS app. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. A quick disclaimer, when using leverage trading, it comes with extremely high risks, including loss of all funds. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for up to $7,000 in bonuses. Welcome back. So I wanted to go ahead and cover some of the patch notes for Team Black Miner and then of course for the latest G Miner release in regard to the RTX 3050. Now if you don't recall, we did a full hash rate review across multiple algorithms on the RTX 3050 and the performance wasn't that great. Of course it was worse on Ethereum due to the light hash rate locks that Nvidia has implemented. And while the light hash rate unlocks were functioning to a certain extent with NB minor and LOL minor, they still just weren't looking very good. Very low hash rate unlocks. We weren't really getting up there at all. So now what we're seeing is a little bit better, but for example, or for reference, when we did test with NB minor, we were at about 13 mega hash a second at 97 watts. Another note about the RTX 3050 is outside of Linux applications where you can really lock in that core and the power a little bit further down. You can only really lock the power down to about like 70% or I think it's actually 80% within MSI Afterburner. So I think you could get better power numbers, but for the sake of testing, this is where we're at. Pretty much across the board, 97 watts is what you see. Now on NB minor, we were able to overclock the memory by plus 1500 megahertz. And this still only resulted in like 13.2 mega hash a second. However, once we move over to the light hash rate unlock specifically for the RTX 3050 in these miners, we're not able to push that memory overclock pretty much at all on this particular model, which is the gigabyte model and without it basically losing its lock and get or losing its light hash rate unlock and being relocked so unfortunately we don't have any memory overclock results on these when i did implement it on the latest g minor release we did get about 0.64 mega hash a second more until it locked itself out and it just kept locking itself out. And then at that point, it just got worse and worse over time. So not touching the memory on overclocks on these two miners. If you take a look here though, Team Black Miner has released 1.55. They fixed the LHR auto tune. I don't know exactly what the measurement is for this one in particular. It is somewhere around 50% on the unlock. And this was implemented actually quite some time ago, if I recall, for the RTX 3050. Yeah, it was on version 1.48 when they did the partial unlock for the RTX 3050. Now with Team Black Miner 1.48, we did see an increase in hash rate to 14 mega hash a second from the 13 mega hash a second. So we got one mega hash a second out of that. 
that was looking pretty good. And then this week we had a release for G minor. This is version 2.78 and they added an unlock for the RTX 3050 on Ethereum. And the default LHR tune for this card was 58%. Now the question is, did that improve the overall hash rate? And the answer to that question is yes. We are now up from the 14 mega hash a second as we saw on the team black miner version 1.48 to 15 mega hash a second on G minor 2.78. Another note about this is that when we did overclock the memory, we did get up to about almost 16 mega hash a second before it kind of relocked itself. So we are getting improvements on the RTX 3050 for the light hash rate unlocks. Is it enough to really compensate for how expensive these are off the shelves? Probably not at this point. They could, if they didn't have this light hash rate lock, compete very well with the RX 6600. However, the 6600 does have, even as it stands, a much lower power consumption even in Windows. So really, you'd have to have the full unlock to even compare the two at this point, but you also need to keep into consideration that there is potential on the flux side of things. For that information, check out my original review video for the RTX 3050 if you're curious on flux profitability in particular for the RTX 3050. And that's kind of where you may say RTX 3050, if at the same price of the RX 6600, makes a lot more sense. At this point, it's kind of up in the air with pricing. I don't know where we're going to end up with this, but I wanted to get you guys the update. I am still keeping track of these lower end GPUs, the RX uh, 6500 XT, for example, as well as, of course, the RTX 3050, because it's important that we stay up to date and on the markets, specifically as it pertains to the hash rates for individual cards and minor update releases. Speaking of which, we do also have the new release from Team Red Miner supporting the Navi and Big Navi, and that video should be up on the channel if you're looking for that one in particular. It looks to have really good performance improvements on the 6000 series and pretty decent performance improvements on the 5000 series as well. Thanks always for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell if you don't mind and share the videos out that you find helpful. I'll continue to provide the best cryptocurrency mining content to my ability as well as keep rolling on the Crypto Mining Morning Show Monday through Friday. 9.45 a.m. Central Time. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.